Hey, what's up? It's Blake here in my warehouse. And if you're watching this video, you probably have a death pile of clothing in your basement, in your garage, in your bedroom, or your home office, and you're not listing it. Why? Well, because you, like me, are not made to be a clothing reseller. And that's fine. It's totally fine. But this video is five reasons why I am done selling clothes online. But while you're here, please give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment below why you do or don't sell clothing online. Before I get started though, I want to make one thing very, very clear. I'm not just saying no clothing ever again, no matter what the deal is. I'm saying I'm done explicitly or purposefully sourcing for clothing. Now, if I go to a garage sale and there's a $5 Black Sabbath t-shirt, am I buying it? Yes, of course I am, but no more trips to buy clothes. Everything that I buy clothing-wise will be purely incidental to my business plan. Consider this a deprioritization of clothing. I'm not totally swearing it off indefinitely forever, but just no more sourcing trips, no more plans to make money selling clothes. If I do, it's just gravy. It's just some good stuff on top. Reason number one is too many details. If I'm selling some video games, I can say, okay, it plays and sell it as acceptable condition and no one's going to complain. I'm selling golf clubs, take a picture of the heads, the grips, and then they know what they are. If I'm selling clothes, they want to see, oh, what's the color in this lighting? Uh, what are the measurements like? Are there any pinholes in there? Stuff that I don't have the eye for. I'm good at seeing if things work, but uh, the condition, the, uh, the details that might range from acceptable to very good and everywhere in between, I just don't have the eye for that, and I've tried for years and years to gain that skill but I just can't do it. And so what am I doing now? Am I just wasting my time trying to do it more and more? Or am I saying, you know what? I'm good at some things. I'm bad at other things. Let's focus on the things I'm good at. How they're used also bothers me. This is reason number two, video games, an Xbox game, for example, it goes into Xbox video game console. And if it works, it's fine. But a large shirt or an extra large shirt amongst the brands, there's a variance in size in shape, in the way it fits, and amongst human beings who buy them. Uh, I wear an extra large or a 2X, someone else might wear the same size, but our bodies are so differently shaped that it makes uh, any sort of standardization in the listing process extremely difficult. Reason number three is simple too, it's the shipping cost. With FBA stuff on Amazon, I know what the fees are no matter what. With clothing on eBay, it's a little bit more tricky. Uh, of course there are flat rate mailers, but unless you're bringing those into the store with you, you're not going to know if the big parka fits. Now, the flip side to this is, yes, you can make some more money on shipping on those platforms. But again, if you're not the kind of person who's going to go through and weigh it down to the ounce and make sure everything is perfect, if you're a big picture kind of person, not a detail kind of person, maybe selling clothing is not for you. Reason number four, storage can be a pain in the ass. Books are stackable. CDs are stackable. They take up no space. Calculators, very small. Put them in a box. Clothing. They have to be displayed on either a rack or in large bins on deep shelves. They take up more space. I've always said that having an online clothing store is a lot closer to having an online art gallery and the way you store and present things uh, as it is having an online video game store or an online used bookstore where the uh, the things you have have much more utility I suppose and therefore selling them is easier because you're 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 matching needs you're not matching taste my final reason and the second to last thing I want to tell you and this is what it all comes down to really is money for me the money isn't there I can list about 10 maybe 15 things an hour and that's a me thing not a not a clothing thing but it's a Blake thing and that's the whole the crux of this video you can't do things that other people do that are great for them you gotta do things that are good for you what works for you. And in that vein, selling clothes doesn't work for me. If I'm making 25 bucks an hour and I can make 90 bucks an hour selling used DVDs, why would I ever sell used clothing? Now, if you're someone who has a system and you're listing 25 things an hour and those 25 things are pretty guaranteed to make you 10 bucks, I'm a fool, don't listen to me. But for everyone else who's struggling maybe and you're trying to sell clothes and it's not working, don't believe everything you see around you. They're not you. I mean, believe it, they're not lying to you, but don't think that I have to fit myself into that mold. Find a mold that works for you and then grow inside that. 
put your energy into that and you're going to have way 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 better results again i'm still selling some clothing on mercari on ebay jerseys big jackets that kind of stuff but it's things that i bought a year ago that's how long it's taken me to go through my death pile literally years you may see all the great stuff on other channels and they're not lying to you they're making good money but if you're more like me more a little uh you know add maybe consider other things that aren't so detail intensive guys thanks for watching so much uh i love seeing the views the comments everything it makes me feel great to know that i'm helping people i'll see you guys later oh and remember don't be a shithead